perfect start to the, the campaign. How are you reviewing that now? Um, yeah, perfect start to the campaign, perfect start to the game also. In that way, um, Momo is a, a really difficult opponent to play against. So they play in a, yeah, with a lot of running actions, but in a chaotic style, it's, it's difficult to defend in that way. My players did a massive job sticking to the plan all game, all 90 minutes long. The guys who started, the guys who came in. And then we used the spaces also in a, in a really good way with the ball. So uh, it was a very mature performance that I saw for my team today. The only small thing that you can say is if you kill off the game in the first half, then it's still different. But I think... Uh, they showed a really good game today, and we will continue working on uh, on the finishing endeavor. I was going to say, can it, can that annoy you, even though we've won the game two 0 away from home in Europe? It's an excellent mm -hmm. result. Is that something that still? Yeah, I'm a, per I'm a perfectionist, so but I've been now 30 years uh, in this world, not so long as a as a manager, luckily, um, but I never played myself the perfect game. Or I never saw my team play the perfect game, but it's something you strive for. And you work on that to, to look at all the details that we can improve. But also not forgetting the good things that we are doing. And, and you see uh, more and more that players get connections. If you see how many new players were on the pitch today, uh, who were not here one month ago or two months ago, uh, the, the team is making already a massive step forward to, to play that kind of football in this environment against that kind of opponent. So we need to continue in that way, working on uh, on all the details that, that we can make better and not forgetting the good things that we are doing and staying humble and, and keep on working hard with, with the same solidarity, uh, solidarity and unity that the team has for the moment in the dressing room. Because it's going to be a season with more games than ever, every three days. So we're going to need everybody really hard for that. Best performance of the season so far for you? Um, yes, I think so, but it doesn't mean uh, it's going to stay the best. I, I, I think we need to work hard to, to make it better and better what we're going to do. Philippe, can a performance like that in Europe, when you come away from home, could have scored four or five, can that give your players added belief that you know this is what they can do on a week-in, week-out basis? Yeah, but that's, that's a question that comes after these games. If you don't have that belief, you cannot do that performance. So if the belief was not there that they could do it, the things we work on on training, because it's not easy to come football-wise out of the situation, out of the pressing of, that Malmö was doing. So if you don't believe in that, you cannot perform in that way on the pitch. So the belief is there. There is no doubt about that. It's about keeping this hunger, keeping this desire to, to work on all the details, and that everybody puts it, their ego aside and, and works hard for the team and does the job, and then sticking to the plan together. And then we can have a really interesting season, what I said uh, a couple of weeks ago. But it's good, maybe, that people from our side start to see much more the potential that this group can have. Just on the, the attacking performance from your side, how pleased are you with the way that your, your strikers, your forwards, your attacking midfielders are all linking up, creating so many chances today? Yeah, I'm very pleased, but it's, it's, uh, it's a job of all team, and it starts with Jack. So you work on things to, to find spaces. We knew how Malmö wanted to press us. So we gave a few uh, options how to come out of that. We trained on that. And then you need players also, of course, to, to do it in the, in the right way with the, uh, with the right technical qualities and, and to be brave on the ball. That's a good thing. Today you saw all the game, 11 players who were brave on the ball and who wanted the ball. So we need to continue that way. And then there are good times ahead of us. I just wanted to ask you about um, Kassim Wiro came in at left back for his full debut, first start for the club. What was I'm your happy that you can say his name? I will say that. I've been practicing all, okay. all evening. Yeah. Um, what was your thinking behind starting him, and what did you make of his display? Uh, what was the thinking that I look a lot of a lot of games of players. Uh, we have a recruitment team who come with, with good reports, but I want to see a lot of things myself also. So I saw him play several times as, as left fullback also. 
um, is not the Yefte Ritvan Yilmaz type of fullback. It's a different type of fullback, uh, more defensively, also right foot, of course. But it was important to to have somebody like that in the structure that we wanted to play today. So he, he did a really good good job. Uh, he's just in the building. He didn't play too much until now. And he's showing uh, that he has the, the right mindset, the physical ca capacities and technical capacities also. So it's a, an inter interesting one for the future also. Philip, before the game, there was a lot of talk from the Malmo side about things that happened in previous games between these clubs and, you know, that they'd missed Rangers and stuff like this. I mean, now that you've come out on the right side of it and you've managed to get the victory, does, does that taste a little bit sweeter, perhaps? No, no, because I'm totally not busy with those things. Other teams can say whatever they want. Other people can say whatever they want. Uh, I'm just focused on my team, on our club, and we need to continue in that way with the players also. To stay humble, to work hard, and to focus on ourselves and not be busy with noise or with what people are saying about us or whatever. It's of no importance for me. Is it, is it one of your proudest nights as Rangers manager so far, given the, some of the noise that's been around the club over recent times? Uh, it's difficult to say. If you win in, uh, in Seville or you win a League Cup, it's still a, a step higher. But I'm happy that everybody will start to see that there are really good things done in the in the transfer window, um, cutting the wages, but bringing young, excited players in, also experienced players in, and, and getting a good balance in the squad in that way, so that this team can can grow to become better than uh, than the team was last season, and that was the goal, and that was not not easy with uh, the situation we were at that moment. Philippe, there's a real composure and conviction about that performance. You know, they the didn't once seem to be any danger of your team being pulled out of shape there by, by Malmo and that kind of chaotic style that you described. That to produce, you know, for a young group like that, a new group to produce as mature a performance like that at this point in the season must give you a lot of excitement about what's ahead. Yes, but they need to confirm this. So it's it's easy to come to the top. No, it's not easy. It's a long way and it's a difficult way. But the good ones are the ones who, who can do it every three days. And we still have several players in the squad who need to prove that. It will be the first time for them. So that's going to be really interesting for the next couple of months. And that's what we're going to work on to make them strong, to make them better. In that way, I don't want to point out one player out of this game, but I'm going to do because he's quite a symbol about working hard and getting the reward. That's Ross. So, Ross, six months ago, if he came on his left foot, there was no quality in his shots or in his passes because he was not used to doing that. But he's been working really hard every day with the staff together to get the right shots in, first post, second post, to look at the goalkeeper, to get the good technique, to get the good power. In that way, he had almost a very important one against Kiev, mm. and he has now a really important one in Malmö to make the second goal because it's it's a massive goal in that moment to, to kill off the game and to, to take uh, even more control. So it's about hard work, repeating, repeating, making mistakes, but making it better and, and that's the way we're going to keep on working with, with all squad together. But Ross is a symbol in that way because of the goal he scored at. Last question. Thank you. Uh, what do you think was key to beating Malmö today? Technically um, speaking, sorry. To get out of their pressing, what they do really well, to to see that they cannot make their their short combination play, and to push you back on your own six, you know, all the time, and to be in really good positions all the time with all team. You cannot have one player or two players who don't do the job because <coughs> then they are little. You have so many technical qualities, so many good players also on the ball, but because of that, they, they run also out of position, and you can use you can use that afterwards to create chances, and that we did in a, in a good way. The only thing we, we missed to to really finish off the, the job in that way. In these transitions, we should have scored more. You could have been very quick. Yeah. You could have been three 0 three nil at half time. You could have basically won five nil. Uh, did you expect such an easy win? No, it's not an easy win. <laughs> it, it looks maybe like that afterwards, but it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of 
concentration, it's a lot of preparation also from everybody, from all staff. So it's for sure not uh, not an easy win. It's because the team did really good things, and I'm sure that Mamlo is going to prove that against other opponents also in the next couple of months. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.